channel. In this occasion, we'd like to discuss about one of this problem about the binomial coefficients. So we have the sum from k equals 0 up to 33 of 99 choose 3k. So the question is find the sum of this. And this is a very unusual problem and it is solved by using uh, a property of complex number. So let gamma be the third root of unity. i.e. omega to the cubed is equal to 1. Or what I mean is that this omega is e to the power of 2 pi i over 3. Okay. So, but at the moment, uh, what we need to know about the omega is that this property, so since omega cubed is equal to 1, then we have omega cubed minus 1 is equal to 0 and this omega cubed minus 1 can be factored as omega minus 1 times omega squared plus omega plus 1. Since omega is clearly not equal to 1, therefore we have also another identity that omega squared plus omega plus 1 is 0. <coughs> All right, now we are, we're gonna looking at three expression. The first one is one plus one to the power of 99. And then the second one is one plus omega to the 99 power. And the last one is one plus omega squared to the 99 power. And for each of this, we're gonna do the binomial, the Newton binomial identity. So this is equal to sum of 99 choose i from i equals 0 up to 99. Okay. For the second one, we have the sum from i equal to 0 up to 99 and we have 99 choose i omega to the power of i and the last one is from i equal to 0 up to 99 and we have 99 choose i and then we have omega squared to the power of i so omega to the power of 2i all right. Now, for each of these, we're going to split the i with respect to the value of i13. So what I meant is that first I'm going to splitting that i is of the form uh, i is equal to 1 or 0 one three meaning that i are multiple of three so we have ninety nine choose i plus sum when i is equal to one one three we have also ninety nine choose i and the last one when i is equal to two mod three 99 choose i All right and also we do the same here i equal to 0 3 but now when i is equal to 0 mod 3 meaning i is a multiple of 3 we know that omega cube is equal to 1 you know and this also implies that omega to the power of 
3k is equal to 1 for any k. So when i is equal to 0 mod 3, each of this, the value of omega to the power of i are equal to 1. So we have 99 choose i. And probably you already noticed by this time that this first expression, which is also this one, is exactly the sum that we are looking for. So this is our s. So that s is exactly this one and also that one. Okay. So plus sum i equal 1 mod 3. Okay. So when i is equal to 1 mod 3, meaning that it is of the form omega to the power of 3k plus 1, then the value is just omega. So this is going to be 99 choose 1 omega. And the last one, by similar reasoning, when i equals 2 mod 3, we have 99 choose i omega squared. Okay. And for the last one, we can also, using the same argument, when i equals 0 mod 3, so i is a multiple of 3, and then we square it again, so it is still equal to 1. So this is 99 choose i plus when i is equal to 1 mod 3, what happened to the okay, what happened to the omega squared, and then we power this omega to the power of 2i, and i is of the form 3k plus 1. So we have something like this. It's going to be omega to the 6k times omega squared. But this is equal to 1. So we have omega squared. Okay. So for any i of the type 1 mod 3, we have omega to the power of 2i ex exactly equals omega squared. So this is omega squared. And by using the same argument, when i equals 2 mod 3, this is going to be 99 choose i omega. Okay, now we will add all of this to get, let's call it 1s. So this is s, that s, this is also s. So we have 3s plus, now remember that we have this identity. 1 plus omega plus omega squared is 0. So we have this is 1 plus omega plus omega squared. Okay. So this is 0. And also this is 1 plus omega squared plus omega. So this is 0. Okay. So we have the right hand side is equal to 3s. Okay. Now, now let us simplify. What is the value of... Okay. Let me put it here. So we can see here we need... Somehow we need to do to uh, to count each of this expression in different way. So by double counting using different way, this is equal to two to the power of ninety-nine, and then one plus omega to the power of ninety-nine. Remember that one plus omega is equal to minus omega squared to the power of 99. So this is minus omega to the 2 times 99. But 99 is a multiple of 3. So omega to the 99 is 1. So this is equals negative 1. And when we do 1 plus omega squared to the power of 99, we also have minus omega to the power of 99. Minus 1 to the power of 99 is negative 1. And then we have omega to the 99, which is also 1. So it's negative 1. So when we add up all of this, we get, on the left-hand side, we have 2 to the power of 99 minus 1 minus 1. Okay. That is equal to 3s. Therefore, the s that we are looking for is... 2 to the 99th power minus 2 divided by 3 and we are done okay all right so
thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't doing so and uh, goodbye for now see you again on the next video bye bye